Hello and welcome back again to Lead Coding. On this channel, we discuss problems which are frequently asked in programming interviews and try to approach them in a step-by-step -step manner. We also discuss the space and the time complexity and several other approaches with which the question could be solved. Today we are solving a very interesting problem from Stack. Name of the problem is Score of Parentheses. Now let us look at the problem statement. We are given a balance parenthesis string S. We have to compute the score of the string based on the following rule. So the rule number one is if there is only a pair of parentheses that is opening and the closing parenthesis, then we have to return the score as one. If the string is the concatenation of two balance parenthesis strings, then the score is the addition of those two strings. And if there's a nested parenthesis, then let us say that A is nested inside uh, opening and a closing parenthesis, then A will be multiplied by 2. So these are the rules. Let us look at certain examples to clarify the problem statement. So in the very first example, the answer is 1 according to the rule number 1. In the second example, for the parenthesis which are marked, which are highlighted with blue, the answer is 1. And then 1 is inside another pair of parenthesis. So 1 is multiplied by 2 according to the rule number 3. So the answer in this case is 2. In the example 3, we have two parentheses, two strings which are balanced. So the first one is highlighted with blue. For this one, the answer is 1. And for another string, this is also a balanced string. And the answer for this is 1 as well. So the addition of these two will give us 2. So this way we have to approach the problem. Now let us look at another example and try to build up a common solution for this problem. As I have already disclosed that we are going to use a stack in this problem. Let us take this example. So let's say we have these parentheses. Now, if we see the mapping, so the first opening parenthesis is mapped with the last one the second one is mapped with the third and this is mapped with this so these are the mappings and if we somehow know the mapping then it would become very easy for us to think of this problem in a recursive manner so let us say that we know that the mapping for first opening parenthesis is the last one so we would know that the whatever lies inside whatever lies been between these two that has to be multiplied by two so let's say we know the starting point and the ending point and we somehow calculate whatever lie inside the starting and ending point then we will simply multiply that value by two and return our answer so if we somehow know the mapping if, if we know the mapping then it would become very easy for us to calculate the solution in a recursive manner so now let me take an example and try to yes let us try to simulate this recursively so let's say there is a function so help is a function and we pass a starting point and an ending point to help and then help will give us integer answer between the starting and ending points so initially we will be passing 0 and n minus 1 to help now if we are implementing help then the first thing that we have to look for is a base case and the base will become when we have only starting and closing parenthesis. In this case, we will simply return 1. So this is the base case. So the base case can be denoted by if s plus 1 is equal to and. In this case, there are only two, uh, two parentheses and these two are all, uh, these two are balanced. So there's one starting and one, one opening and one closing parenthesis. So in this case, we have to return 1. Now for the further cases, we know the mappings already and we will be checking the mapping. 
So when we pass the 0 and n minus 1 to help, we will be having a for loop. In the for loop, we will check for the opening bracket. So if we get the opening bracket, we will see whatever pairs with this bracket. So we will send this much part to help. And again, this much part to help. So help is going to give us answer for, uh, let's say, A and for B. And we are simply going to add them both. And then finally, we will be returning A plus B. This is our final answer multiplied by 2. So this is what we have to implement. Let us try to see the code for this. And then I will try to simulate it on another example. So this is the helper function and it will be having a start and end. It will also have a vector of int pair. So pair is the mapping that we are doing. And of course the string. So if start plus 1 is equal to end then return 1 this is the base case else initially we will take an answer which is 0 and we will be traversing from start plus 1 i is smaller than end so now we are going so initially we will be having something like this this is our start this is our end we are traversing from this point to this point and as soon as we get an opening parenthesis we are going to call helper function again with uh, start as this and end as the pair of this or the mapping of this so the mapping for this opening parenthesis is this one this information is provided in pair. So from i equal to 1, i smaller than and i plus plus. Answer plus equal to help of i comma pair of i. And pass on the pair and s. I don't think that we actually need s anywhere so let us drop this s so this is how we are calculating the answer initially the answer is 0 then help will be called on this part then again help will be called on this part and help will be called on this part so these are a b and c and we have to add them all so this is what we will be getting as our final answer so initially we have an opening parenthesis and a closing parenthesis so we have to multiply this summation by 2 so this is what we have to return finally return answer multiplied by 2 now let us try to construct this pair now this could be done using stack so I am going to implement stack using vector so vector have a function called pushback so it acts as stack if we are going to push from the back and pop from the back so I am taking vector of type int v and pair that I have to construct this will be of size n n is s dot size how we are constructing this so let us take the same example and let's say we have a stack this is the stack and inside stack the first parenthesis will be this corresponding to corresponding to index 0 then again an opening parenthesis corresponding to index 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 now a closing parenthesis as soon as we see that we are having a closing parenthesis and the top of the stack is a is an opening parenthesis then we are going to do the mapping so 
the opening parenthesis is lying at index 1 and the closing parenthesis at an index 2 so for the index 1 the mapping is with 2 and for 2 the mapping is with 1 so we can only have one sided mapping that is from 1 to 2 that would also work then this will be popped out then again we are coming at an opening parenthesis at index 3 then a closing parenthesis at index 4 again this is going to pop out and for the mapping will be from 3 to from 3 to 4 and from 4 to 3 as well so this part is not required we are simply keeping it for the generalization again at index 5 then at index 6 it is again a closing parenthesis so it is going to pop out and the mapping will be from 5 to 6 and from 6 to 5 then a closing parenthesis again so it is going to pop this one out and the mapping will be from index 0 to index 7 and from 7 to 0 so this is how we are cre creating this mapping which is our pair in this case so starting from i equal to 0 i smaller than n i plus plus if s of i is an opening parenthesis then simply push this into the stack so stack is v v dot push back we are going to push the index so that is what we are required when we are pairing this so instead of pushing the closing or the opening parenthesis we are simply pushing the index and if it is not the case then we have to pair them so pair of i equal to v dot back and v of is v, okay pair of v dot back is equal to i and simply pop it from v v dot pop back so now we are ready with our pair now we have to calculate the answer so we will have to simply return from 0 to n minus 1 and answer so let us see if it works okay let us see for this example alright answer plus equal to i pair of i uh, and it is not i plus plus actually we have to jump to the index so if if this is our i and the pair of i is the next index so this will be passed on to help again we will get the answer for this if we again call the helper function using this as the starting and this as the ending index then the next i will not be this it will be this one so it is the next element that comes after the closing parenthesis so i will be i will now become pair of i plus one so this is giving us correct answer but there is a case here the example number three although it is a balanced parenthesis it comprises of a plus b if we look in terms of the first substring and the second substring but then as a whole if we are implementing the same logic it is always having an initial opening and a last closing parenthesis so it is not present in this case so whatever the case is if we simply put the initial opening parenthesis and the last closing parenthesis we will be getting the answer twice as what we require but it will generalize our solution so if we make s equal to we simply add another pair of parenthesis 
or in terms of the question we are simply multiplying the answer by 2 so now we should get 12 as the answer because we simply added another pair of parentheses so 12 is the answer and we can simply return answer divided by 2 it is going to handle all the cases even when there is a case such as the example number 3 so if we don't do this and we simply remove that as well and then try to run this case it is going to give us TLE so in order to handle this case we are simply we are simply putting another pair of parentheses and then dividing the answer by 2 so in terms of time if we look we are creating this pair and this creation is going to take big O of n time the next thing recursion recursion is again taking big O of n time the space complexity is big O of n again because we are creating a stack and a pair vector so this is it for the solution to this problem if you have any doubt please feel free to ask them in the comment section and if you want to provide me any suggestion for my future videos please comment them as well please subscribe to the channel if you like the video thank you